Hi and welcome to Type With Me. In this episode we will talk about Nest.js middleware. Let's get started. So first of all, middleware is something like you have within Express.js, right? You have something that sits in the middle. So whenever you do a call to a certain um, endpoint, this middleware will be triggered. Of course, you can uh, bind this to certain uh, paths. We will see that how you can do that. But first of all, let's create a lower middleware. So here we will create a new class called lower dot middleware dot yes right and it will be um, export class lower middleware and every middleware is also a service so it will be injectable and we can import it from nest.js common and then we will implement nest middleware Of course, we need to add some functions. So we implement uh, the interface of lower middleware, right? And of course, whenever we have something that comes along the way, we can do, for example, a console log request happening. So we're writing in TypeScript, so for me it's important to use the type request. So for that, we'll use the type request and the type response. And we can import these two types, requests and response from Express. And now here we can just say request.url so we can lock the URL right request happening on that URL so we can give some more context on our logger. Great. So because it's an injectable, it also supports dependency injection, right? So whenever we want to have another uh, service injected here, we can just do that by uh, using that class in our constructor that's really powerful right whenever you do a call to a certain endpoint you can just check something if something is, is right there and then you can go on with the next function or you can just uh, wait and abort the request right but for our case we just want to do a next here Now to activate the lower middleware, we need to go to app module.ts and here we need to add the following code. So we have configure consumer middleware consumer and that consumer will apply our lower middleware for the routes gets. And that's here our not our cat server service but our cats controller right and here we have our cats so for that we have applied our lower middleware we can also use here wildcards so when we have something like uh, this that's also possible so everything that has cats slash and then something that's uh, going on there it will be applied for that and 
You can also use here, for example, cat's controller. So then we know that for every thing that's in the class cat's controller, uh, he will use the lower middle layer. So now we can start our server. We now go to localhost 3000 slash cats. We have, of course, an empty array, right? And of course, when we go to our application, we see that we have a request happening slash catch, which is amazing, right? So we have written our first middleware class logger middleware, and we have applied it to that. I'm just going to explain you how you can add multiple uh, middlewares to your uh, app module. So uh, let's do that. And then we are done with this episode. So when you search for um, nest middleware, nest middlewares, you will find a list of nest middlewares that are available. So for this case, we are going to use the course uh, middleware. We're going to install it, right? And then we're going to apply it to our app module. Quick. So here we can just say course I mean course middle rear, right? And then you can just import it here. So you can just apply multiple middlewares right here. So that's the most important one. Great. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can do something with this. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to see more videos about TypeScript and TypeScript related projects. Thank you very much. Bye.